Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the OTT Navigator to your Fire Stick or Android TV. It's an amazing IPTV player that supports both XTM codes as well as MFKU links. It's totally free to use and works extremely stable with majority of IPTV providers. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get that IPTV player to your device. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, we'll go to search on your device, and there in the search bar, we need to start typing Downloader. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on Downloader, and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you got Downloader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So in order to actually set up Downloader, we gotta go to Settings, so we click on that button with the gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Far TV. Open it. And here we'll have to enable developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. You just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for seven times and do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see, now at the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared for us right here. So we open them. Make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps. From here, you'll have to locate the loader, there it is, and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, we open it, and there you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Finland right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for the world. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we gotta go and open up the downloader application, which is right here, wait until it loads. Then, on the left side menu, it's very important that you click on Home and not on Browser. So once again, make sure that you have clicked on Home, and then here in that search bar, we'll need to enter a code, which is going to be 2, 8, 9, 0, and 7. So once again, the code is 28907. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see on the screen, and do not make any mistakes. Because obviously, if you make a mistake, then the code is not going to work. After that, just click on Go, and while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It really helps me a lot, and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And after the website has opened, we just have to scroll down a little bit until we find the list of categories, which is right here. And from the list, we have to click on IPTV players. So let's click on IPTV players, 
and then a list of apps is going to open, which we scroll down a bit, and there you'll find the OTT Navigator player, which is exactly the app we are looking for. So we gotta click on OTT Navigator right here, then an ad might pop up for you. If it does, then just click on close or on X to close down the ad. In my case, I have to click on close. So we gotta click on close right here, and now a new web page should open. Yep, there it is. We also need to scroll it down until we find the download for Fire TV and Android TV button. That's exactly what we're looking for. So now let's click on download. And in a couple of moments, the download is going to start. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Then you need to click on install and wait until OTT Navigator gets installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV, depending on what kind of device you're using. And after that, don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because here we'll have an option to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on our device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way we get rid of unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save you some free space on your device. And that's super important, because you don't have too much of free space on your device anyway. Now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your Fire Stick, which is right here, wait until it loads, and there at the bottom you'll find the OTT Navigator, which we just unloaded. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, OTT Navigator is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time needed. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Then let's finally open up the OTT Navigator application. And when the app opens, you'll have to add your IPTV playlist. So it's totally up to you which IPTV provider to use. There are thousands of them in the world, but usually they will give you either the M3U link or an XM code which you should enter in the IPTV application. So to do that, you would need to click on the provider button. And if your IPTV provider gave you an M3U link, you would need to click on playlist and just enter that link right here in the URL address bar. Then you click on apply and that playlist is going to appear in the list of playlists on your application. Alternatively, you can also use Axiom codes on that app to do so. Instead of playlist, you gotta click on generic middleware server and then go to XM codes. You select that option. Here at the very top, you enter the link that your provider gave you and then of course, log in and a password. Then just click apply and the playlist is going to appear in your application. So today you learn how to install the OTT Navigator IPTV player as well as how to set it up. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.